Hey, what's up guys? This is Two Awesome Men. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are really excited to talk about this. Uh, we, this is this has been a long wait, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, super long it wait. Was, it was really weird, considering that our first, the, our first mile, or I mean our first milestone was 100 subscribers, obviously. Yeah. But then we hit 200 subscribers, like, a this, year yeah. after. Yeah, literally our, three, our 200 subscribers special was our, the same as our one year anniversary. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, when, when, if you do like decide to go back in our history or whatever, uh, we, we like to count our, our anniversary as our very first movie review, which is The Jungle Book, yeah. which if we want to have a really good laugh, go check out that video. That's one of the worst videos you've ever seen yeah. in your life. Maybe for our 1,000 uh, subscribers special, we'll do a reaction yeah, video we, over it. Yeah, we were actually considering doing that this year, uh, the, but like we just could not find time. Yeah. It was getting really hard, because unfortunately, our our uh, our year lines up with like uh, finals and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because it's in May. Yeah, and so we ha we have to really kind of like be we have to like <laughs> we're studying a whole bunch during that time because right. we go to college right now. So hopefully, because we're graduating actually in December. In December. We're both are. Yeah. yeah, we're both graduating in December. So maybe maybe we'll find <laughs> some more time. I have this button that keeps getting really loose and it just keeps on buttoning. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't happen too many times during the video. But we're really excited to announce that we are now, we now have hit 300 subscribers. Yeah, it's been two years since we hit 200. <laughs> yeah, so we, this is our, this is our third, this is our third year. This is our third year of being on YouTube. Mm. Uh, if, and we just want to start off by saying if you have been here since the beginning, we're really thankful for anybody who's watched our videos. Um, I don't really know why you do it. You know, especially, I don't know why you stayed. It, I would have stopped. I would have like completely like unsubscribed from us within our first two videos because those things were awful. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, they're like our most viewed too. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you want, yeah, I really do recommend uh, going to. Our, I'm gonna put a link in the description to our very first review over Jungle Book. <laughs> it's honestly, it, it like kills me watching it. Yeah, it kills me. So. We're like, it, yeah, we're really robotic, and we were filming at uh, Denny's, and we we're actually filming with this phone. Which, if you well, if you wonder why we have this phone in all of our reviews, because it's what we uh, used to film on. Yeah, so. so this is our very first recording device right here, and so that's why it was really crappy. And the reason why I got really crappy later on <laughs> is because I ended up breaking the phone. I ended oh, up breaking yeah. the phone camera yeah. on the back of this on the back of this phone, so it started getting really bad. Uh, also, um, I, I just want to make sure we say these things before we get into our video. Uh, like thank yous. I want to thank Brittany. Oh yeah, uh, my sister, his sister, my cousin. Uh, she really helped us start off. You know, after she didn't really. Uh, she, she actually filmed. She was a filmer using this phone. She was film, yeah. filming us. Yeah, and it started getting hard for her to do every video. So that's why I got this. But she still helps us out a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, a lot of times when when we're being filmed, uh, the very beginnings when we're being filmed, most of the time it's her filming. So Jungle Book, she would come to Denny's with us late at night to go <laughs> film the videos. Um, even we, when she'd be working the next, working early the next morning. Yeah. So and then and after a while we're like this is kind of getting rough on her. So we kind of we kind of stopped let, making her do that. You know. So we started trying to figure out where yeah, little we weird. used like a selfie stick, but the phone wouldn't fit in the selfie stick. So we'd have to. Like, I, we took a picture one time, but I wish we would have uh, saved it. Yeah. The, the contraption yeah, that we set exactly. up. <laughs> so I mean, uh, so yeah, I just want to give a big thank you to her. Unfortunately, if you watch our very, if you watch our one year video, we forgot to thank her, and it was yeah. really irritating. So we're making sure to give her thanks before this video starts. Also, guys, we're gonna put a link in the comments below to let y'all know about two channels we really want y'all to check out if y'all haven't already. One of them is Half Cocked. Uh, and some really good friends of ours that that uh, that really make some really cool videos, unapologetic videos over movies. Uh, another one is a guy, a really good friend of ours, who left uh, Half Cock a few weeks ago. His name is Daniel Barrios, and he also has his own uh, YouTube channel where he goes over movies. If you want to go check them out as well, we'll put links in the description below to those channels. So today. Uh, we're just gonna show off a few things uh, that we have. They're mostly our Blu-rays. I do want to start off with showing because we just got these posters. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to grab the Infinity War one. Yeah. Uh, we we just got these posters this weekend. Uh, well, we got this one this weekend. Then we got this one this week. The Infinity War one this week. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Maybe we'll get them signed eventually. Yeah. yeah hopefully, <laughs> we're trying to figure out if we get them signed, which one we're gonna get signed. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards Endgame because that's the bigger yeah. one. So, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over our Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry. We're gonna go over our Blu-ray collection. Uh, this is a lot of Blu-rays. Uh, I mean, hopefully, I mean, hopefully this isn't too long. We'll try yeah. to keep it brief, but it's a lot of Blu-rays. I mean, maybe not as big as your collection, but you know, <laughs> we're building one up. I've I've started get, uh, getting an addiction to buying Blu-rays. Yeah. You, like a lot of these, uh, not, I don't know, probably not a majority of them, but a pretty decent amount of these movies I haven't even seen, <laughs> and I just bought them. Yeah, we're eventually going to see them. Yeah, so I yeah. have them So I have them there. Anyway, so to start off, we have The 40-Year-Old Virgin with Steve Carell. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent movie. I don't want to talk about it too long, but we have a whole bunch of movies to talk about. 40-Year-Old Virgin, there you go. Next we have a Clockwork Orange, which I, neither of us, see, well, you haven't seen this. Right? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I've heard it's really messed up, so uh, we're eventually going to watch it. We have a poster of 100 movies you, you need to see, where you can scratch off after you watch it, and it's on there, so we're eventually going to see it. Next up, we have A Ghost Story, a movie that I really think is somewhat un somewhat underrated. You don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I never hear it ever. <laughs> yeah, you don't hear people talk, popple. You don't hear people, talk, people talking <laughs> about it. Unless you're watching like a list for like the best movies of uh, 2017, yeah. 2017. That's the only time you hear about it. Uh, Quiet Place, which is a really good movie. John Krasinski's uh, first movie to direct, and he did fantastic. And uh, I heard they're having a sequel soon. Yeah, hopefully that's so good. He, he, I think he's still, he's still writing it. I don't know if he's directing it, but hopefully it's good. The next movie you have, you have. <laughs> next movie we have is A Star is Born. Boring? <laughs> <laughs> a Star is Born. A Star Starring uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Uh, this movie was a really good movie. This movie is very sad. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this. Yeah. It's really popular. Definitely worth the hype, so it's really good. Uh, next, talking about underrated movies, uh, this is definitely a pretty up there. Uh, yeah. This came out last year. You don't hear people talk about it at all. It's an all-female cast. Which, not even just talking about that, this is a great, pretty great movie, pretty great sci-fi movie. Really creepy and really unnerving. Yeah, it's also the same director from Ex Machina. So yeah. If you really like that movie, go check that this movie was, out. This was show. actually his second movie, and Ex Machina was his first yeah. one. So. Watch that movie, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> next movie we're going to talk about is The Babadook. Babadook. Ba However you pronounce it. Bobby, Bobby Duck, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I do want to talk about this, not very long, but uh, this movie... This is really good. It's one of the best horror movies here lately. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some people not like it because they say it's boring or whatever. And whenever people say that, I like to say you're wrong. <laughs> because this movie has no jump scares, but it's perfectly crafted to horror. Yeah, it's very metaphorical. Mm -hmm. It talks about depression and everything. Mm -hmm, exactly. yeah, I, I actually love the message with it. Yeah, so I mean, if you haven't watched this movie, go watch it. Because it's really, it's one of the best horror movies sometimes. Uh, Baby Driver, which is actually one of the only Edgar Wright movies I've seen uh, so far. Mm -hmm. But uh, wait, no, I've, 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 I've seen Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, that's a lot. I've seen a decent amount of them. They're yeah. all pretty good. But th this one is kind of awkward because that's Kevin Spacey in it. But other than that, this is a pretty <laughs> great movie. Uh, it's a pretty energetic, energetic movie. It uh, blends the music in with the action pretty well. It's a pretty enjoyable movie. Yeah. Uh, the next movie. Well, I uh, hold on. Let me put this down. I'll, I'll come back to this. In a second. Uh, the next movie we have is Batman vs Superman. This movie right here, although I feel like it's not fantastic, I feel like it could be better. I definitely think it gets way too much hate. Batman vs Superman. Yeah, way too much. Way too much hate. Do I think it's perfect? Do I think it's great? No, I, but I think it's fine. I think I watched it, and it was, when I first watched it, I loved it. But after a little bit, it started kind of dwindling down. But overall, I still think it's a fine movie. Yeah. It could be better in certain areas, but overall. You know, fine. I Way do, too much hate, though. I do want to do a review over it, because there are some things I want to defend uh, about this movie. Next is Bad Times at the Yellow Royale, which came out last year. We actually got to go to a pre-screening like a month be or a few weeks before it came out. And it's a, it's, it's a movie that bounces back and forth between time, and it does it pretty well. It's pretty... It's a pretty weird movie, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, and honestly, that was one of my favorite movies of last year. It's probably uh, one of the most perfect movies of last year, for my in my opinion. Yeah, so the, ne uh, the next movie we're going to go over uh, is Beetlejuice. Uh, and this movie, I mean, like, who, who hates Beetlejuice? Yeah. Like, honestly, if you don't like Beetlejuice, don't talk to me, please. It's definitely an extremely fun movie to watch. Really dated CGI, obviously. <laughs> CGI, obviously <laughs> but it's yeah. definitely an extremely fun movie to watch. Sorry if it seemed like I was laughing while you are talking about Beetlejuice. Because I don't know if you can anticipate what is next. What movie is next? But <laughs> we just bought it. B movie. We just bought this today. By the way, a lot. Some of these we bought like what? Like we bought I like bu 15, I bought, probably fifteen. I bought 
eight, I bought like nine or ten movies today. Yeah. Brittany bought, I think, four. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we bought about 14 or 15 movies today. And, this and they're, is one they're, of them. they're cheap movies. So. Yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> there was a deal at movie training movie trading company. It was yeah. like four for 20 or something. Like yeah, that. and so we just had to buy this. It was part of the deal. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of those movies that I can admit it's terrible. It's obviously it's so terrible. It's really stupid. It's really stupid, but it's so, it's so stupid yeah. that it's enjoyable. Yeah. It's like The Room. All right, uh, next movie uh, I'm going to talk about Birdman. This movie right here, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I don't know who hasn't seen this movie. If you haven't seen this, please check this movie out. I legit think this movie is perfect in every sense of the word. Uh, Alejandro Gina Ritu, fantastic director in every sense. Hey, you can tell he has perfectly crafted this movie. Michael Keaton, I really think, should deserve an Oscar for this. Movie. Oh, yeah, really definitely, good. for sure. Yeah. And this movie, I don't know if it's the first one. I'm sure it's not the first one. But it's the first like popular movie that did like those long shots, long yeah. takes, yeah. which a lot of other shows and movies are doing now. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this movie yeah. is what... Well, it's not just, just a, a long, not just a long take. This movie, the whole movie, until like the last like 10 minutes of yeah. it, is edited to look like one shot. Big warning though, the director of the movie does hate superhero movies. Yeah. You know, so that that is a kind of warning that I do want to say. Yeah. He does kind of bring it out in the movie. Next is The Big Sick. Uh, this is one movie, uh, when we, well, this came out last year, right? Uh, no, it came out, I think it came well, out two years yeah, ago. Yeah, well, where, where, whichever year it came out, uh, we did our best favorite movies of the year, and we didn't, we hadn't seen this movie yet, and I really wish we would have, because it would have definitely been in my list for that video. Because this was a pretty decently funny uh, movie. It had a definitely pretty good emotional parts. Ports? Ports? Uh, it had some pretty decent emotional parts. And overall, it was a pretty good movie to watch. The next movie we're going to talk about is Blade Runner 2049. I love this movie. This is my favorite movie of 20, 2017. <laughs> this is my favorite movie of 2017. Fantastic, beautiful movie. Beautiful. You could literally have no dialogue in this movie. In my eye, it would just be mesmerized. <laughs> right. Because this movie was just so beautiful. Uh, it's directed by, uh, what's his name? Denis Villeneuve, who mm. like, phenomenal, fun, phenomenal director. Right. I mean, we'll go through a few more of his movies in a second. Uh, but yeah, perfect movie. Really perfect movie. I highly recommend it. And also speaking of Blade Runner 2049, we have Blade Runner. This is the final cut. No, I mean, I've... Uh, and a lot of people would think this is the best cut of the movie. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of different I think, cuts I think like, the movie. I think there might be like three cuts. There's a theatrical, there's this one, and there's like another one. Yeah. And I've heard that theatrical goes over, doesn't go over a few things that it needs to go over, and the other cut goes over too much. This one I've heard is a perfect one. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm going to try <laughs> it. Thereby. Yeah, so, so just so you all know, there's a lot of movies we have... <laughs> Not seen, unfortunately. Uh, I hope that doesn't discredit us in any way. Right. We're you know, eventually gonna get to yeah, that. Yeah, we just uh, when we we're younger, we didn't really get to watch these movies, and there's a lot of them, so we need to get to them. But anyways, Blade Runner Final Cut. And speaking of those kind of movies that we have, those classic movies that we haven't seen, this is definitely one of them. Uh, Citizen Kane, known as one of the best movies ever. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen it yet. I know basically what's about. I know pretty much the ending. I know pretty much mostly what happens in it. I just haven't seen it yet, but we're eventually going to go see it. Yeah. Go see it. We're eventually going to see it. <laughs> uh, the next one we have is Coco, uh, Pixar's movie from 2017, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, this movie was really good. Uh, they saw it before I did. I didn't get to see it in the theaters, so I watched it before Lame. we had yeah. <laughs> I watched it before our Oscar video. Uh, this movie right here, really, really good movie. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of, one, of, one of my favorite Pixar movies, probably. I mean, definitely, it's probably like at the bottom of my favorite, but it's really good. It's definitely one of the most beautiful looking ones. Oh, yeah, definitely. Next up is The Conjuring. This is one of those movies that uh, it's, a, one of the, it's a modern horror movie, but it's done pretty decently well. It definitely does still have its fair share of jump scares, but they're done pretty perfectly. They're not really, they're never really cheap jump scares. Uh, overall, it's a James Wan movie, and he's done pretty well with his horror movies, and this is definitely one of those to add to the list. Uh, the next one we have is Dallas Buyers Club. Haven't seen this one either. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. This was during a time I didn't like Matthew McConaughey, and I was very angry at him because he beat uh, Leonardo DiCaprio oh, winning yeah. the Oscar. The Wolf of um, <laughs> Ever since this, ever since uh, like True Detective and like Interstellar, those are movies where I kind of gain respect from him. But like, I haven't seen this movie, which I really need to. 
At least we have a Deadpool, which I was actually freaking loved. Uh, Deadpool is one of my favorite characters. I know that makes me kind of basic because he's a pretty popular character. But I actually love his uh, character in the comics and in the movie. Uh, it's definitely a redemption from uh, X-Men Origins. Yeah. And overall, I, I loved how they did all this. And the next one we have is that sequel to Deadpool 2. <laughs> this movie... Sequel to Deadpool 2? This is the sequel to Deadpool 2. <laughs> did you just break this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. I like sweet long... <laughs> Early a cracking noise. This is Deadpool 2. <laughs> don't put uh, your own string. <laughs> this is a movie who, who, where I don't know if I would necessarily like it more than the first one. I like the characterization of Deadpool more than this yeah, one. Yeah, and I, I think it's funnier than the first one. Yeah, they do a lot more. There are some things that I... It's hard for me to tell. I, I The first time I watched this movie, I did. I was like, it's not anywhere near the first one. But after another two watches... Well, after like another watch, I started realizing how good it really is. Right. Uh, I do feel like there are some things I could have done differently, but overall, a really good movie with some really good Deadpool characterization. The Departed. Uh, I, I, I don't. I honestly don't really know much of what to say about this movie. I haven't seen it yet. It's on our poster that I was talking about, our hundred uh, movies poster. So we're gonna see it eventually, but I haven't really seen it. Yet. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. I yeah. know it's really good. So yeah. Uh, another movie I have is a movie that I think is really underrated, which is Dinner for Schmucks. Yeah. Uh, this movie is extremely hilarious. Really, <laughs> really stupid. Yeah, it has but, Paul Rudd and Steve Carell. Yeah, yeah, but it's they they have a nice chemistry that goes through them, and it really goes into the characters pretty nicely to right. make you actually empathize for them. Mm -hmm. and it's it's honestly it's honestly one of my favorite comedies. So I, I do really recommend this if you haven't seen it. District Nine. This was uh, which the, I tried to show Marquez. I haven't movie, finished but, it yet. Uh, he had to leave before the movie was over. It's, it was like at the last. Uh, final action scene and he had to leave so he hasn't finished it yet it's been like over a year but, uh, <laughs> I might need to start it over <laughs> yeah no exactly at this point but it's definitely a, a great movie it's a pretty deep movie it deals with uh, real life issues but with aliens it's kind of a strange movie uh, it's about uh, aliens who live on earth and they're being separated from the rest of human society but it's a, it's a great movie I definitely recommend it next movie I have out here is Drive with Ryan Gosling, and I'm really biased. Pro I might be a little too biased because I have a love for Ryan Gosling like no, like no, no, no <laughs> other. Okay, I think he's perfect in every way. Um, but Drive, honestly, is a really perfect movie. Um, and and when I say that, I'm not going to say like it's the best movie of all time. But just watching it, you're watching, you realize there's really nothing wrong with it. You know, it may not be your kind of movie, but there's nothing really bad about it. And it's on, it's a really good movie to me. Easy A, you know, to be honest, I haven't seen this movie since it was in theaters. I think I've so seen it about two or three times. I remember too much about it. Yeah. Uh, I remember liking it. I just don't really have too much to say. I don't know if you have anything. No, no, I, I think it's a really <laughs> funny movie. I think yeah. it's really good. Just so you know, like I said, a lot of these movies we just bought today. So yeah. this is actually <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, I've seen this one, just not in a long time. Yeah. And the next one we're gonna talk we have over here is Eighth Grade. This movie, one of the most perfect movies of last year. Uh, definitely, really like it's extremely stupidly relatable right. to the point where it just kind of gets stressful yeah. uh, at certain points because you're just sitting there, you're realizing because it's about a girl who's in the eighth grade, obviously, yeah. and kind of things that she goes through. And if you She's were really yeah. introverted, but yeah. she wants to be extroverted. Yeah. So if you grew up as a kid like that who was really introverted, kind of awkward. And really want to be extroverted but didn't know how to then this movie you can really relate to it because Bo Burnham really knocked it out of the park with the accuracy of that feeling. Next is Enemy. Now this movie is like Marquez said about Drive. This movie is a pretty perfect movie. Uh, it's a really strange movie. You might not get it at first which I completely understand if you don't get it at all the first time you watch it which I actually rec recommend watching uh, Chris Stuckman's video on YouTube where he goes over it and he explains it pretty perfectly. He, like everything, like everything he says about this movie is pretty obvious. That that's what the director is yeah, going not, for. Yeah, not not his review, but his analysis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he goes over it pretty well, and uh, it's just once you understand what the movie's about and what they're trying to go for, it just becomes such a perfect movie. And every time I watch, it's just so amazing. Yeah, everything they pull together. It's, it's also another Denis Villeneuve movie. Yeah, so. D D Denis Villeneuve is probably one of my favorite directors of all time, in yeah, all honesty. Really. And um, Jake Gyllenhaal is the star of the movie. Jake Gyllenhaal, really, yeah, really underrated, underrated actor. So that's what's that. <laughs> uh, next one is Ex Machina. I just watched this like uh, like a week or two ago. Yeah. Uh, really good movie. It's a really kind of closed off movie. You know, they're all in one, they're only in one 
one place the yeah, entire it's only, movie. It's only two actors. Well, yeah. I mean, technically three. Yeah, but. three. Uh, yeah, so like, and so this movie right here, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this, but if you haven't, this movie is actually really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really know what else to say other than that, but <laughs> yeah. it's a really good movie. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Yeah, it's a really deep movie, and not a lot happens in it, but at the same time, enough happens in it. So mm -hmm. it's not really something I can really talk about that much. I just highly recommend it. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, we, we, we need to explain this one. Uh, four Stick was yeah. Fantastic Four, but they put the four. Yeah, the, a, yeah, but, the reboot of Fantastic Four. Yeah, from 2015. Uh, the, re the reason we have this is not because we like it. We actually hate it. Uh, we're, we're planning on doing a review over it uh, where we just bash it, but uh, we haven't really gotten to the time to do that. But uh, yeah, we have it on Blu-ray, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, we have another movie that I like that in a little bit when we get to it. Yeah. Uh, the next movie we have is Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, this movie is really good. I don't know if anybody, I don't, I don't know who's seen this movie. It's a Wes but, Anderson movie. Yes, yeah, right? Wes Anderson. If you, if you like Wes Anderson and you haven't seen this movie, see it. It's really good. It's mm -hmm. honestly, it's it's one of my. It's a really cool, really fun movie to watch. Yeah, and I just really high, highly recommend it. The Fighter. I haven't seen this movie. Uh, I've heard it's really good. Um, Christian Bell's in it. Uh, he, he actually got really skinny for this one. Yeah, not as skinny as like the Machinist or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. but then he had to like go right back to being Batman for Dark Knight Return. Oh, Dark Knight. Not Dark Knight Returns, Dark Knight Rises. Mm. So like his body transformation is just amazing. But I I do plan on seeing this. We do plan on having a video where we uh, rank the best movies of the decade. And this movie came out this decade, right? Yeah, yeah. 2010. So we're probably gonna watch it. Well, we're gonna watch it eventually. <laughs> so the next one we have. Well, this is Fight Club, but I think it was like a year or two. Yeah, it was when Deadpool 2 was about to come yeah. out or something. Yeah, and Deadpool and Deadpool released these things. Uh, got like a whole bunch of Fox movies, like 20th Century Fox movies, and like replaced the cover with Deadpool. Yeah. So this is Fight Club right here. Uh, this movie, Zach, I don't know if you've seen this. No, not yet. Yeah, you this, you've been wanting to show me. Yeah, I've been wanting to show it to you. Uh, this movie is really good, and I'm pretty sure y'all have all seen this because this is a really <laughs> popular movie. Uh, so I don't really have to say much about it. If you haven't seen it, really go see it. It's a really good movie. Now, this movie, I think Marquez has more to say about this than I do, but The Florida Project was definitely a really underrated movie that came out, what, 2017? Mm -hmm. uh, every actor who's in it is amazing. Even one of the main actresses, this was her very first movie. And just overall, this movie was really underrated. I didn't see many people talk about it. Willem Dafoe is nominated for Best Supporting Actor in it, but that was about it. But. Yeah, it really should have been nominated overall. If you want to go in our history, we'll, we'll put another link in the description below. We need to write these down, so don't forget. <laughs> yeah. uh, the link in the description to this video, because I actually did a video over this movie where I kind of talk about it and explain why it's so good. And I actually think this is a perfect movie. Next one we have is Forrest Gump. Uh, this movie is really good. I guess there's not really any like denying that. I mean, that's uh, it's a pretty obvious thing. Uh, really good movie. Tom Hanks, fantastic. All I have to say is Jenny is a piece of crap. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was her name, right? Jenny. Yeah. 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 So, a piece of crap woman. Uh, and that's the only thing. That's really the only downside of this movie, in all honesty. <laughs> right. Uh, but really good movie. Get Out. Now, this movie, we, we actually didn't see this movie for a while after it came out. We saw it like several months after it came out. Uh, and it was really, really hyped up. And movies like that kind of scare me going into movies that are really hyped up by everybody. But Especially go, since the trailer was really bad. Yeah, yeah, that too. So, going into it, I didn't know what to expect, but it definitely was. A great movie. Uh, it's definitely really creepy. It, de it, de it dealt with social issues pretty nicely and overall just crafted a story that was pretty creepy and pretty uh, engaging and overall it's a pretty great movie. Jordan Peele did pretty good with it. Pretty great with his first movie. Next one we have is Get Smart with Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway and The Rock and Alan Arkin and the whole, <laughs> I don't know if it's Alan Arkin. No, I think it's someone, it's Al yeah Alan Arkin. So anyways uh, this movie right here, really good movie, really fantastic movie. One of the better movies where they got like a really old TV show and then made it into a movie nowadays. You know, it's re it's one of the best ones of those. It's, it's honestly like every joke in this movie is really funny and it really helps that you have Steve Carell as a lead who's really good at just just conveying and just uh, shooting out those those jokes. I don't even know how, not shooting out. But, uh, uh, you know, delivering. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> really good delivering comedic lines. Next, we have a good time. Now, anybody who says that Robert Pattinson is a bad actor just because they've only seen him in the Twilight movies, I would highly recommend they watch this movie. This movie came out two years ago. 
and uh, you wouldn't even recognize Robert Pattinson, to be honest, because he acts completely different than he does in the Twilight movies. He looks completely different. Overall, this movie was a high energy movie, and overall, it's just a fun movie, and I definitely recommend it for Robert Pattinson's acting and just the overall energy of the movie. The next one we have is Gremlins. Uh, Gremlins, fantastic movie. We actually were at. We were, <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were actually when we we're buying movies, we noticed there was, there was also the like a two pack of. Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2 is a pretty fun movie too. But this movie is actually really good. And I, I feel weird talking about these kind of movies because obviously everybody's already seen them. Right, so. yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a great movie. Yeah. Hereditary. No, this movie was a pretty controversial movie. Well, not really controversial, but it definitely split audiences. A lot of people thought it was boring. A lot of people loved it. We were on the side that loved it. This movie was probably honestly one of my favorite horror movies of all, of all time. And honestly, one of my favorite movies, just general movies of all time. Uh, it was woven so perfectly. It had so many scenes that were just so unnerving, but you can't really tell why it was unnerving until you realize what the movie's about. And the slow parts uh, that people call boring were actually pretty great drama moments. Overall, it was a pretty great movie. Yeah, I will say this. If you have seen the trailer, don't pay attention to the trailer for this movie. The trailer mm -hmm. acts like this movie is a full-blown horror. Yeah. It doesn't become a full-blown horror until like the third act of the movie yeah but everything else is still a really good movie and it all kind of put the movie's all going in one direction and mm -hmm. once you get to the end you realize what's happening yeah and honestly if you've seen this movie i would recommend watching it a second time because it's one of those movies that gets even better the second view the second viewing because once you know what's happening it makes the whole rest of the movie really creepy the next movie we have is hugo uh this movie right here this is a really good movie. I've seen it one time. I just remember when I watched it, I loved it because it's a lot. It has a lot to do with movies, and I mean, obviously, I love movies. So now I don't really want to say much more about it. We do got to go a little faster for these. Inception. I saw this movie back when it was in theaters, and it was the only time I seen it. I saw it for the second time for uh, with Marquez like a few months ago, and it's, I'm definitely glad I saw it the second time because I definitely appreciate it more. It's definitely one of those movies that is really confusing and overall. You just have to see it over and over again to fully understand it. And I'm glad that I'm able to grasp it a little bit more than I did the first time. The next one, the next movie we have on here is Isle of Dogs. This is another Wes Anderson animation. Uh, this movie is really good. Uh, I, I I don't really want to act like it's one of his best movies, but it's definitely a really good movie to watch and definitely a really fun movie to watch. Next we have it. Uh, this is the 1990s uh, miniseries. I haven't seen this one yet. I've seen scenes from it, but I haven't seen the whole thing yet. Uh, we actually have the uh, remake that came out in 2017, uh, but for some reason, we don't know where it's at. But we have this one and we have the remake movie that came out two years ago. But uh, I, I still need to check this one out. The next one we have is It Follows. This is another really underrated horror movie that a lot of people talk, I've seen some people talk trash about it. Because it's not your average horror movie, your, especially your average modern horror movie. Right. It definitely feels like it. It definitely feels like it's uh, it's away from its time. Uh, it's a movie that really doesn't have any really jump scares, but it definitely has this really creepy feeling that just gets into your skin. Yeah, and it has a kind of a silly story just on paper, but then when you watch it, it, it you realize just how creepy it is. Mm -hmm. Next we have uh, John Wick. This was a movie that kind of came out of nowhere for a lot of people. I honestly didn't see it until just this year so that I guess I could go see the uh, third one. It's definitely a great action movie. It's definitely one of the epitomes of a uh, action movie. Uh, all the stunts are amazing. Keanu Reeves is great. The story is great. Everything's great. Uh, next one we have is King Kong. The one from what, 2008, 2005. 2005. 2005. <laughs> 2005 Close <laughs> enough. Here it was. But this movie right here. I actually think this movie's fine. I, yeah. I don't think it's that bad. A lot of people like to talk crap about Jack Black. I don't think he did bad in it either. <laughs> yeah. I think they just like look at a comedy actor and like, oh, he did bad. But I think he does fine. It's three hours. I don't mind three hour movies. Yeah, a lot I, of people complain that they don't, they don't show King Kong till way late in the movie, but I feel like they did it pretty perfectly. It built up yeah. the characters pretty well. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Next is uh, Lady Bird. This is definitely a movie you need to see if, uh, if you haven't seen it yet. It's one of those movies where on paper it sounds like a really weird and lame story because it's just about a girl in high school trying to graduate. But the way it's written is just so great. It's a pretty funny movie. It's a pretty emotional movie. Just overall, it's a great movie. The next one we have is La La Land. This right here, I love this movie. Whenever I first saw it, I actually just like 
like loved it. I fell in love with it. Uh, some people don't like this movie, which is fine. Some people either don't like musicals, they just don't like this kind of movie. But it's honestly one of my favorite musicals. The Lobster was a, it's an A24 movie, which I don't know if you know the company A24 movie, but or A24 movie. <laughs> I don't know if you know the A24 company, but they make a lot of indie movies, and this is the uh, this is one movie that's strange. It's, I, I love the movie. Yeah, so it's much. hilarious, but in a weird kind of hilarious. Just overall, I recommend it. Just know it's a weird movie and it's a weird plot. The next one we have is Logan. This right here is one of the best Marvel movies, and I would say one of the best comic book movies of all time. Mm -hmm. Right here, it definitely just gets that little edginess. That Marvel doesn't always have, and it just gets it perfectly. Uh, and I really think this movie is pretty decently perfect. If mm -hmm. I really think about it, I can't yeah. really think of any flaws with it. Right. You know, I would say it's up there with like The Dark Knight and Spider Man 2. The Losers is probably a movie that a lot of people haven't even heard about, but I think it's one of the most underrated comic book movies. It has, it's a pretty all star cast. It has Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Idris Elba, Chris Evans, and a whole bunch, Zoe Saldana. Just a whole bunch of people in it. It's a pretty fun story. It's a, it's a really comic booky, but I would definitely recommend it. Next one we have is Mad Max Fury Road. This movie was a huge surprise for a lot of people and how good it actually was. Beginning of it's really crazy, but I really would highly recommend this movie if you haven't seen it already. The whole the entire movie is pretty much a car chase. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting all the weird movies. <laughs> Punch, <laughs> Punch your war zone. <laughs> it's one of those movies that's not a good movie, but it's definitely a heck of a lot of fun to watch, especially if you're with a lot of buddies and you're drinking. Uh, it's it's really over the top and just overall, it's just such, so much fun to watch. The next movie we have is Pulp Fiction. This movie right here is a really good movie. It's Quentin Tarantino, and there's not really much that can be said that hasn't been said already. <laughs> the Possession, uh, an underrated horror movie has Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it. Uh, there's not much I want to say about it. It's, it's not really that deep of a movie. It's not like the one of the greatest horror movies ever, but it's definitely one horror movie that I would recommend people watching if they haven't seen it yet. Next one we have is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. I haven't seen this movie, so I don't really have much to say about it. <laughs> I just know it's a really good movie. Office Space, I haven't seen it yet. It has a double case because of what we were just talking about with Fight Club. But uh, I haven't seen it yet, but maybe eventually. I think it's on our posters. So. Yeah. Another movie. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting. Being I've disgusting. Been, I've been getting sick for like the last like two weeks, and I just, like, it doesn't come. It just stays like at this one level of like getting sick. Anyways, uh, the next movie we have is No Country for Old Men. Uh, this movie right here is a really good movie you haven't seen already. The only thing I don't like, I don't think it's a great movie. I don't think it's as great as people say it is. I think it's really good. But then he gets to like the end, and I really don't. Yeah, like it really it. drops the ball in the yeah, end. Yeah, I really don't like the end in any way. So, but I, I do think it's a good movie, just not as fantastic as people say it is. Napoleon Dynamite. I mean, there's not much I can say about this that uh, a lot of people don't already know. It's a it's a classic movie. It's a cult classic. It's a, it's extremely quotable and just overall, if you haven't seen it, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. Did you know that, uh, by the way, did you know that John Heater got paid a thousand dollars for that movie? Really? Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he got robbed, <laughs> even though I guess he didn't really know what he was getting into. Uh, the next one we have is My Cousin Vinny, one of the best comedies ever. Like, I, like yeah. hands down, one of the best ever. And it's also known as one of the most accurate uh, law movies mm, exactly. by actual lawyers. They actually both this as one of the most accurate lawyer movies. Yeah, if you haven't seen this, go see this. This movie is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's it's so great. Every joke in this movie just hits. Manchester by the Sea. Now this movie is very subtly uh, emotional. It's, it's one of those movies that will make you cry, but it doesn't try to make you cry. It just does its own thing, and then you just start crying because it's done its own thing. Yeah. <coughs> 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 The next one we have is Man of Steel. I don't think this movie's bad. A lot of people say it is. I think it's one of the best in the DC. Um, well, I guess that's not really saying a lot. But um, I, I do think this movie's actually pretty good. Other than whenever Kevin Costner says that he should have let the kids die on the bus. <laughs> that's other like than, one of my only complaints. Yeah. And when Ke Kevin Costner dies, yeah. his death. Yeah, so other than those, I actually really do love this movie. Um, and it's really good. I mean, they kind of went downhill from here. And, and it picked back up. But... I do think this is a good movie. The Nice Guys. Now, I know I keep saying movie, these movies are underrated, but this one 
is one of the most underrated movies because you you never hear people talk about this movie. This is honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's so it's one of the most funniest movies I've ever seen. The the humor is uh, genius. The story is genius. It wraps so many storylines together. Well, not really storylines, but so many details together. It just comes full circle. The next one we have is Fan of the Opera with Gerard Butler and Emma Rosam. This right here, I, I know it's basic, but this is a great musical. Yeah, uh, I, I really have a hard time choosing whether I like the live musical or the movie better. They're, they have their differences, but they're both so great in their own ways. Yeah, I actually saw the Broadway musical about, was it four years ago? Yeah, about. Yeah, I was so happy, and I loved yeah. it. And this movie right here is really good if you see it. It does have its differences of whether or not something is magic or not. Yeah. But, you know, if, you, if you're if you okay with those little di subtle differences, this movie's really good. Yeah, the musical, uh, he was more of a magical being in the movie. He's, he's more realistic. Next is The Revenant, which this movie is pretty great. Uh, I honestly don't think uh, Leonardo DiCaprio deserved the Oscar for this movie. Yeah. I think they just gave it to him because he uh, had been nominated for so many times. I actually uh, heard that uh, people saw that, uh, what's his name, uh, Brian Cranston should have won over him. for. Oh, really? Time. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie, but I can see that it's Brian Cranston. But, uh, but it's still a pretty great movie. Um, it's made by the same guy who made uh, Birdman. So he's a pretty great director, and it's a pretty great movie. Uh, the next one we have <laughs> is The Room. Uh, taught, directed, <laughs> produced, star Tommy Wiseau. Uh, we have a video that we go over this entire movie. Yeah, we'll put that in the, the link yeah. in the description. It, it is one of our kind of earlier videos, so the editing's a little off. Mm -hmm. Some things are a little weird, but uh, I'm acting like our videos today are like perfect. <laughs> but like, but uh, this movie right here, if you haven't seen it, watch it, man. Okay, if you if you can if you don't like sex scenes, just skip over the four minute the four <laughs> sex scenes that are like two, three, four minutes long. Yeah, not even exaggerating. That's how long yeah. they are. <laughs> so they all add up to like 10 minutes or more than 10 minutes. Yeah. So if you don't like them, skip over them. The movie is, is it's so bad, <laughs> but it's beautiful. And I, I mean, if you look, if you just look up the room, you'll you'll see a lot of people talking about it. Yeah. If you ever saw like the disaster artist, the disaster artist was made about this movie. The next movie is kind of, kind of a special one. I haven't seen it yet. It's a uh, Rosemary's Baby. But the reason it's special is because we actually met Mia Farrow, who's the star of this movie, at a Comic Con uh, last month. And uh, it's like one of the first, her first time ever go coming to a Comic Con. And so we got her autograph, which is kind of a special thing because it's probably going to be pretty rare. But we do eventually want to see it. It's on our poster. And it's one of the classic horror movies. Uh, another movie we have is Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm sorry, very. I'm sorry, guys. We, there's a lot of movies we need to watch. I haven't seen Seven, but I really want to. Right. Saving Private Ryan, which you've seen this one, right? No. <laughs> Save us. No. Okay. I haven't seen it. Oh, Brady has yeah. either. Somebody <laughs> saw it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna watch it. I think it's on our poster too. Yeah. I'm not sure if this one's on our poster or not, but we're definitely gonna watch it. We I bought these movies for a reason. Yeah. So. <laughs> I definitely want to see it. We're gonna watch it. Also remember we're college students, so we don't have yeah. we, we only have time to watch movies here and there. Right. And during the summer I'm also working, so it's a little <laughs> hard. Other uh, movie next movie we have is The Shape of Water, which won Best Picture uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, this movie to me actually is really good. I've have seen some people not like it because they're like it's all about bestiality and yeah. stuff like that. It does you know, get some kind of strange, I, can, yeah. I, can, I can understand, but <laughs> it's it's a really good movie, a really good love story that's kind of just in this vehicle of a movie. Uh, and if, if you like to watch movies like that, sometimes if you don't like the actual concept, movies are just vehicles, and this is really where I would see that movie. Now here I go again with the underrated comment, because this is an underrated comedy. Uh, it's one of the most hilarious uh, comedies I've seen, and I, I've been wa re-watching scenes on YouTube of this movie, because I haven't seen it in a while, but it's actually pretty decently deep of a comedy movie. It's a pretty ridiculous comedy. But at the same time, it goes over these characters pretty well. The next movie we have is The Shining. Fantastic horror movie. Probably one of, the, one of if not the best horror movie of all time. Not going to say anything more about it because everybody said stuff about it. Sherlock Holmes, the Robert Downey Jr. movie. Uh, the first one, uh, I, I eventually want to get the second one. But these movies have been pretty great. Robert Downey Jr. has been great at Sherlock Holmes. And just overall, it's a, it's a fun movie, fun series. I, I'm really hoping they make a third one. Uh, next one we have is Silence of the Lambs. I need to change this case up. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I I've seen it, so yeah. there you go. Yeah, it. so, uh, no, it's a really good movie. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. It's also, it's also one of my 
my ways of uh, whenever I tell people that I don't like the Jared Leto Joker because oh, yeah. Anthony Hopkins is barely in it. Yeah. And he does a great performance. And also, he won an Oscar. also, I've only seen a small scene of his, and he's just fantastic in this movie. Uh, Sicario, uh, this is another Denis Villeneuve movie. Uh, he didn't direct the second one, but he directed the first one, which is what this is. Uh, it's a pretty great movie. It's slow paced, like all Denis Villeneuve movies are, but uh, overall, it's a pretty great movie. Pretty well acted, too. Next one we have is Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. This, to me, is the second best Spider Man movie of all time. I really, like, honestly, like, I. Spider Man 2, unbeatable. I truly believe Spider Man 2 is an unbeatable Spider Man movie. Mm -hmm. But this one right here is really good um, and it honestly just fleshes out some characters really nicely it goes into depression without explicitly saying it yeah it does go into depression of the, the Peter Parker character yeah the animation is amazing too it's yeah. unbelievable yeah. how they're able to do it South Paul another Jake Gyllenhaal movie this one's probably one of his more popular movies is a little more mainstream than a lot of his other ones but it's still a pretty unknown movie to most people it's a boxing movie. It's, it gets extremely emotional. Oh, really? Jake does. Gyllenhaal definitely performs at his best in this movie. Just overall, I recommend it. Jake Gyllenhaal always performs at his best. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. I, I, I always want to say that. Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> one of the most underrated actors. Like, yeah. Ever. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited he's going to be an inspiring movie, yeah. finally. Next one, Split. <laughs> uh, this is probably, this is known as M. Night Shyamalan's comeback movie. Yeah. Uh, before this, you have, like, The Visit, which... To me, was whenever I started seeing signs yeah. of him coming back. It was back. just a warm up. <laughs> yeah, but this movie right here is honestly really is honestly great. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever it comes to glass, I don't really want to talk about that movie. I think it's <laughs> fine. I think it's good enough. But this movie right here is just something else, man. Yeah. James McAvoy really shows how fantastic of an actor he is. Mm -hmm. It's freaking phenomenal. Uh, Spirited Away, uh, this is another movie we haven't seen yet. It's actually been advertised a lot at our local theaters that they're going to be showing it like several times in the past. We've just completely forgotten to go. Uh, but we have it on Blu-ray. We're eventually going to see it. Uh, it's known as one of the best uh, animes ever. So yeah, it's one of the only animes I'm really interested in. And uh, the next one we have is one of my favorites, Swiss Army Man, another A24 movie. One of the strangest and over-the-top movies you'll see. Uh, it, it, and like we said, A24 is honestly one of our favorite movie companies. They do a lot of indie films. And every movie of theirs, honestly, if I, even, if, even if I don't like it, I have some ounce of respect for it. But this movie, I love this movie. It's such a weird movie and takes such stupid concepts but makes them such a deep of ideas. Right. You know. And honestly, like the directors of this movie, though, they said is... They pretty much got a whole bunch of thi a whole bunch of different types of movies that they hate, mm. and put them into one movie. Like they said, they hate movies. Yeah, they hate movies. <laughs> they hate like musicals. They hate like uh, survival movies. They had a whole bunch of different types of movies. Fart jokes. Yeah, they hate fart jokes. <laughs> but they decided the only way we know we like this movie is if we make a whole bunch of different types of things that we hate, put it into one movie, mm -hmm. and make it to where we like it. Right. And that's the, that. Honestly, is a genius idea. Mm. <laughs> now this one we're, we're gonna need to uh, defend ourselves with yeah. but uh, we have this on blu-ray yes we do uh, unfortunately this is honestly one of the worst movies I've ever seen and that's not even an exaggeration not even just yeah, one of the right. worst superhero movies it's just one of the worst movies I've seen in general uh, we only have it because we do plan on doing a review over it like uh, Fantastic Four uh, we just haven't had time to do it yet next movie we have is The Thing the Thing is such a great claustrophobic movie. The Thing. The Thing. <laughs> the th sorry, my Showing mind. that we're Texans. Yeah, we're, we live in Texas, guys. <laughs> uh, Chicago took Whataburger away from us. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah. It was. Uh, that, that's kind of sad. But the, <laughs> the, 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 the Thing. Uh, it's honestly one of the best. One one of the best kind of thriller movies. It's a fantastic kind of claustrophobic movie. Yeah. Movie of like isolation. And the uh, the practical effects in this movie oh. are some of the best. Like hey, this was, I, I can't. I don't way know what, before its time. Yeah, it was like made in like the what the seventies. Yeah, I think so. I uh, can't remember. But like or eighties, but still, it, it's the kind of thing that I wish movies nowadays would go back to. Nowadays, movies rely so much on CGI, but then you have movies like The Thing, who have practical effects, and they're better than a lot of CGI yeah. nowadays. We're also not idiots. We do realize that sometimes you have to use CGI. Yeah, oh, yeah. But yeah. like this movie, just like went to the went to the greatest right. lengths to have great practical effects. Exactly. There will be blood in another movie neither of us have seen. Uh, we do plan on seeing it. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis is in it. Uh, did he win an Oscar for this? I can't remember. Uh, I know oh. it's. I know it's known as his best movie. Yeah. So we're gonna see it. So d yeah. don't worry, guys. 
another movie we have is V for Vendetta. Um, Zach has seen this, right? Yes, yeah, okay, but a long cool. time ago, I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I have only seen a little bit of this movie when I was a kid, but I've never, <laughs> I've never finished it. I want to finish it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see it. Oh man, my movies are falling down. Oh my here. goodness, <laughs> I'm keeping mine all organized. <laughs> but uh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. This is uh, not a very, not, not a strange movie, but it's definitely a different kind of movie. It's a black comedy. It deals with some pretty uh, deep and dark uh, issues, but it's able to throw in jokes, and the jokes are extremely hilarious. It's the, wonderfully paced. Just overall, it's a pretty well-crafted movie. Next one I have over here is The Witch. This movie is another movie that I've seen people not talk about, kind of like The Babadook. Mm -hmm. Well, not talk about. I've seen people talk about and talk about it badly. This right here is also one of my favorite horror movies, uh, one of my favorite modern horror movies. I believe, is it? Yeah, it's another A24 movie. Yeah. Uh, this movie is a movie that takes its time with horror. It's a movie that you're watching it and it's really, it, it, it's, it's a very slow paced movie, but once you get to the end, you just kind of have this gross, disgusting feeling. Right. Um, and I have, like I said, I have seen people talk bad about it because it is not your standard modern horror movie, but it's honestly one of, one of my favorite modern. Next we have The Watch, which I'm not gonna act like it's anything great or anything. It's not even one of the greatest comedies I've seen, but it still is pretty hilarious. It's pretty wacky, I guess yeah, I would say. It's, a, fun, I it's say. a really fun concept. Next one we have is Wonder Woman, the DC. This right here to me is probably, I would say, the best of the DCEU today. Um, it's honestly, this movie has fantastic writing, fantastic has a really great acting. I love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She does a really good job. I only have a few issues towards the end of the movie, but overall this movie is really good. Uh, next we have The Wolfman, which was actually uh, my first rated R movie to see in theaters. I, I wasn't 17 yet, but my parents took me to go see it. And it's, I, I'm definitely glad that it's one, of the, it's one of those milestones for me because it's definitely a pretty enjoyable movie. Uh, if you like, um, like old classic monster movies is definitely one a movie for you uh overall it's done pretty well my next one is zoolander and this movie i love this movie so much zach hasn't seen it yet i'm trying to get him to watch it <laughs> and you actually have two copies yeah, of this actually yeah movie. i actually bought two copies of this. <laughs> this movie is so stupid <laughs> but it tries to be and it just it pulls off this such stupid comedy so well that the second one couldn't even get close to it but the first one the comedy is just Absolutely perfect with the stupidity. I'm over here nodding like I've seen the movie. You need to watch it. It's really funny. <laughs> and talking about uh, funny movies, uh, Zombieland, this is our last Blu-ray. Um, this is uh, definitely one of those movies that you have to see, especially if you love zombies. It's a comedy, but it's also an action movie. Overall, it's a pretty fun movie. Overall, you need to watch it. Uh, next, we're going to go over some more some box sets and some kind of packs uh, boxes that we have with like different movies. Uh, and so I'm gonna go over one. Uh, I'm gonna go over this one. It's Back to the Future Trilogy. As, uh, I was about to say that's all three of them, but that's, that's <laughs> obvious. And uh, I love all these movies. They're, all, they're actually all pretty good. Uh, this, the first one, obviously classic. Second one's really fun. Uh, and we actually one, saw the second one on the date that they actually go to uh, in the, to the future. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if you went with us, but me, my sister, and our mom went. Yeah, well. Um, on the actual date, October something, 2015. Yeah. Oh yeah, she saw it in the theaters. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But anyways, really good trilogy if you haven't seen it already. Uh, next we have uh, The Lord of the Rings, the extended uh, versions. Um, it has all the movies, obviously. Uh, we. I, I've, we I've seen the original three. I, yeah, I've seen okay, the three, okay, but so, I, haven't okay, seen the, I haven't seen the extended editions. He's seen, he's seen those, but I, I've, I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen the rest. We're going to watch them. Uh, we were wanting to get Sean Astin to sign it last, um, last month when he was at the Comic-Con that we went to, but we just didn't get the time to. Oh, I'm going to see they're just falling all over the place. They're really <laughs> bad. Next thing I have is a Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire. Uh, like I said, Spider-Man 2, hands down, probably an unbeatable Spider-Man movie. Uh, Spider-Man 1, still really good, a little dated, kind of cheesy, but still good. Spider-Man 3, I honestly understand the hate, but I, on, but I do like it. I do yeah. like Spider-Man Three. It's I don't, not I don't, as bad as I, people say. It's not. It's not. It's, yeah, I think it gets too much hate, but at the same time, yeah. it's not great. But it's just kind right. of a fun movie to watch. Uh, an exciting one uh, that we have is uh, the Die Hard movies. This is a Nakatomi Tower uh, from the first movie. Uh, it has. I think it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, it has all the movies in here. 
which I can't get them out. Yeah. That's all. How many movies are there? Five? I think so. I can't which remember. I, oh, you yeah, think, think it probably out? says on there. Okay. Uh, Might be. I was going to take it out, but got it. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Yeah, five movies. Yeah. yeah. So it has all the movies. Uh, I've only seen like the first uh, first one and the last two, so I need to watch all, all the rest of them. But the first one is one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. Next thing I have on Blu-ray is the Godfather trilogy. Um, I have, <laughs> I haven't seen these guys. <laughs> I've uh, seen the first two. I, so. I really <laughs> I really hate saying those words to anybody. <laughs> it's like yeah, especially on my channel. Yeah, uh, the my Godfather. Channel, Come on, man. Uh, my channel that t goes over movies. <laughs> I hate saying that I have not seen any Godfathers. Uh, I've, I, seen the I've seen the horse scene. <laughs> I've seen that, you know. Does that count? I've seen the whole movie. Uh, I'm gonna eventually make them see it, which yeah. I haven't seen the third one. But I've heard the I've third one. I've heard the third one's not that great, but the first two I really need to see. Which uh, I don't have any more over here. So. You don't have any? I have some more. So the next thing I have yeah. is Community, the TV show. Honestly, one I think this show is genius uh, up to a certain point. Uh, it gets really, it's really good if you haven't watched the, if you haven't watched the TV show Community. Uh, it gets kind of not that great later on. Never gets. Truly terrible, but not that great. But the show does also become aware of how bad it's getting, and it's kind of weird. The show is a really self-aware show. Um, next thing I have is I need to get Zach to watch the first season. <laughs> I haven't watched the second season. I heard it's not that great, but True Detective, first season's fantastic. This right here is what helped me gain respect in Matthew McConaughey as an actor. Before this, I had no idea he was an actually good actor. He was in a bunch of rom-coms. Yeah, and and I watched this, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> Math McConaughey is fantastic, you know, and I, like I've been looking at this dude in the wrong light. I saw this and I saw Interstellar and those things back to back. I'm like, man, he's really good actor. Um, next thing I have over here, Planet of the Apes trilogy to me is one of the best trilogies. The, the of new all time. one, the new ones, not the old one. Yeah, yeah, the the, the new the Rise, new Dawn, and War. Yeah, to me, one of the best trilogies of all time. I really think every single one of the movies are perfect. But they somehow get better as each one goes. Yeah, and I'm excited because uh, Matt Reeves directed the last two, and he's directing the new Batman movie, mm -hmm. so I'm excited for that. Uh, next one I have is uh, <laughs> some more movies. That I <laughs> actually I saw uh, East of Eden. Okay, there you go. Uh, James, the James, uh, I'm gonna say the James McAvoy. <laughs> the James, the James Dean trilogy. I have seen Re I've seen Giant, and I've seen some of Rebel Without a Cause. I need to see the other. No, I didn't. I haven't seen Giant. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've seen East, <laughs> I've seen East of Eden and I've seen some of Rebel Without a Cause. Alright, East of Eden's a really good movie. I also read the book, okay? Yeah, I went that I went even I even went that far. I read I, the book. I've seen James Franco. Is that close enough? <laughs> it looks just like him. I think he also played uh, he played him in the movie. Yeah, well I haven't seen that one. Yeah. So. Uh, this right here is my breaking bad series. Your most prized possession. Yes, this right here, if you open it up, it has every season. Uh, well, they come out, <laughs> see like that, yeah. And then they, they also go back. And then, and then the whole thing is like uh, the the uh, what's the barrel that you put his money yeah. in. Yeah, and it comes with like a USB and like a little something button. And it comes yeah. with like a night. I want to show this to Zach. It's pretty cool. It's like a behind the scenes thing of Breaking Bad. And I'm really happy about this. Uh, uh, oh goodness! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, everything broke. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, Jake didn't start barking. Next thing I have over here is the Dark Knight trilogy. This is also a really prized possession of mine. Um, you can buy this for like thirty dollars now, but <laughs> I bought it for like eighty, I think. Uh, it comes with uh, all, like all three movies. I guess I'll say that again. Uh, to me, to me, I think Batman Begins is one of the is is extremely underrated. Um, I, th I, I agree with that. I honestly still think the Dark Knight might be a little better, but not by much. I think that the Dark Knight is really good, but I think it overshadows Batman Begins because of Heath Ledger. I'm not saying it's overrated because Heath Ledger is definitely not overrated. Yeah. I just think it overshadows Batman Begins. Batman Begins is a decently slow origin movie that I really think is perfect. Um, mm -hmm. Dark Knight Rises is probably the weakest of the three, but it's still good. And it comes with all these movies. It comes with like some shots of the movie, uh, some like a, alcoholic shots. Yeah, some shots. <laughs> and it comes with like this little flip book, and it comes with all this, all of his cars, right here. I think that's really cool. Batmobile. Yeah, the Batmobile, and the, what are they called? Like the tumbler, the yeah. bat, and the motorcycle. The motorcycle. The lane. The bat cycle. Like it was. Well, no, sounds the, like a oh, sex position. <laughs> I can't reach one of them. I can't reach one of them. 
Okay, I'll try to... <laughs> These are our DVDs. These are our lame DVDs. Uh, first, we have Spy. And I just so you know, I don't think I bought any. I bought I bought one. I bought one of these. I don't think I bought any of these. <laughs> but I think y'all went to like Walmart and they're only gonna sell. So we have Spy with Melissa McCarthy. I'm not gonna go through these. We have Minions. I never saw that. I don't really like Minions that much. Oh yeah, you have some too. So yeah. you can start going through yours. Uh, Anchorman two, uh, Good Will Hunting. That's one of my favorite movies. Of all the time. Really, we need to buy some of these movies on Blu-ray, like that one. Yeah. Uh, Lego Movie. We need to buy that on Blu-ray. Horrible Bosses. We already went over this. The Inception. We have it on DVD. Uh, Interstellar, uh, pretty. We need to get that on Blu ray too. Alright, and I'll also like to step up to 4K one day, but we have so many Blu rays. Yeah. The Great Gatsby, uh, yeah, it's not that great of a movie, but still. Mean Girls, classic. Yeah, uh, Despicable Me, uh, Pacific Rim, yeah, 21 Jump Street, and Wolf of Wall Street. And then I have the Reno 911 Complete Series. They don't have this on Blu ray, so that's the only reason why I have it on DVD. Um, I think, and then, and then uh, last one, I'm just gonna run off these. We have most of the uh, MCU movies. We have Iron the we, first oh, before I say that, we also have Godzilla from 2014, but I can't reach it because it got very far away. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, yeah. So we have the uh, first Iron Man, uh, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man Two, Thor, the first Avenger, uh, the first Avengers, Iron Man Three, The Dark World, The Winter Soldier, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Age of Ultron. Ant-Man, Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Infinity War. Yeah, and also I don't plan on buying a lot more of them because I do plan on buying, uh, they, they're probably going to come out with some pack Whoa. with all 22 <laughs> they, of them. They better. <laughs> yeah, I think they announced they're going to. So whenever they whenever they have all 22 of those, I'm going to buy that entire thing. I don't even care how much it is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that's all of our movies. That's yep. all of them. And we got through it. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. And Hopefully I can't, this works yeah. out. You know, Chris Tuckman has actually done these before and he has a ton. Yeah, I know, a ton like, even more than us. I don't even know how he got through those videos in only like 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And, and really guys, uh, thank you so much for subscribing. I don't really even yeah, know how sure. to like, like say that completely because honestly, if you watch our videos, you just see the end product. And I'm not trying to like give you anything like, please, please enjoy our videos. <laughs> we put a lot of work into our videos. A lot of work. We, probably more than we should with the amount of subscribers we had. But we really just want to make sure we get something good out there. And make sure we get something that people enjoy. Um, and we just try our best with that. Uh, a lot of our videos, we do, we'll, we will do all-nighters uh, editing our videos. Because we like to see the movies on like Thursday night. Right. And have them by Friday. Friday mornings uh, usually. And so we, and so I just want to let y'all know that we're really thankful for anybody who subscribed, commented, liked our videos, anything like that. Um, if you do like this video, if you made it to the end of this, uh, hopefully you did, uh, please consider subscribing to us and maybe even go into our other videos, check those out. Yeah, and we also have a podcast called the Austin Pajone Podcast. Yeah, we'll put a few links in the description below. If you want to, you can check out some other videos. We have, uh, we have three videos of Avengers Endgame. We have the review. We have one where I go over what, why I don't agree with like Avengers Endgame complaints, and we have one that we describe why we don't think that Ben Shapiro's review over Endgame doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we do want to talk about that, but thank you so much, guys. And also, like I want to say again, thank you to Brittany because she yeah, really, for sure. really helps out, really helped us get this whole thing started. If it wasn't for her, I honestly don't know when we started this channel because yeah, it no, would have started real. kept a long time to make videos. Right. Anyways, guys. Uh, if you can, share this video around or share whatever one you want to around. Subscribe if you want to. Um, and I, I think that's about all. But thank you. Uh, if you want to, go in the comments below. Tell us, I don't know, tell us which of these movies you like, which ones you don't like. Maybe even tell us some suggestions you have on which Blu-rays we should buy. Maybe even which of these movies you want us to review. We'll try our best to do that. You know, so hopefully we'll get to it. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Two Awesome Men. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and you will see us later.